What's up guys, we are back with another video on how to install Google Analytics 4 on your Shopify store. Google Analytics is coming to an end and it's happening soon. As a result, it's critical that you upgrade to Google Analytics 4 as soon as possible so that you may continue to create visual data for your Shopify store. Today we'll show you how to install Google Analytics 4 on your Shopify store in the easiest method possible. This approach now also allows you to track crucial events such as purchases that occur in your shop. Before beginning this tutorial, consider subscribing if you haven't already or if you are new to our channel, so you can remain up to speed on new videos and tutorials geared to equip you with the skills, information and tools to help your company grow online. And so, without further ado, let us install Google Analytics 4 on your Shopify store using the new procedure for 2023. First thing first, you need to log in to your Shopify store and make sure that you haven't installed Google Analytics 4 before in this store or any version of Google Analytics. That simply means be sure that you are working on a completely clean store in terms of Google Analytics 4 installation. To check if you have added a snippet code from Google Analytics to your theme, go to the theme page and at the current theme, click here the three dots and click edit code. Now in the left panel, go and find theme.liquid and click on it. And here between the head tags, check if you have added any snippet code from Google Analytics. If you had that, just delete that snippet code, save the theme and go back to our Shopify dashboard. Now what we're going to do is we're going to install a Google channel app to connect with Google Analytics 4. To do so, go and click here apps and click all recommended apps. Click Shopify App Store to open the App Store. And at the search, just type Google. Now these are the results from search of Google. So you need to find this app here and click on it. This is the app that we are going to install and it's by Google LLC. You can scroll down and see that this is free to install. Click add app. And now give the authorization to install this app. Now you can see that Google is installed successfully as an app on our Shopify store. Now as we are here, you can click this button here to connect your Google account. Now choose the Google account that you have set up your Google Analytics for. If you haven't do so, choose the account that you plan to set up the Google Analytics for. And that will get us here. Now what we have to do is to click this button here, get started, to set up Google Analytics 4. As you can see, there is no properties found, so we have to create a new property. Click this button here, create new property, and here we are at our account. Now we need to start collecting data for our platform. In this case, our platform is web, so we click web. And now we have to set up the data stream. Here we have to type our website URL. And here we have to name our data stream. Make sure that enhanced measurement is turned on and click create stream. Now we have successfully created the web stream and here you can see the stream details. Now what we have to do is go back to our Shopify store and where we left click refresh. Click again get started. And now you can see the new property we created before. Click connect. And as you see we have successfully set up Google Analytics 4 in our Shopify store. In the next step, we need to install the Google Tag Manager. To do so, go to the, 
To do so, go to the Google Analytics dashboard and find your data stream. Click on it and click View Tag Instruction. Here you can follow the instruction to install the Google Tag with the Website Builder or CMS or install manually. In this tutorial, we will install it manually and see step by step how to do it. You can see here a snippet code for the Google Tag. Copy this code and go back to your store. Go at Online Store and click Themes. At Themes, click these three dots here at your current theme and click Edit Code. Go to Theme Liquid and under this head tag, paste the code you copied. Click Save and go back to your store. Now we have installed Google Tag Manager in our store and after a while it will start and collect data. And here at Google Analytics dashboard, you can see the analytics about your store. Here is the home of analytics, where you can see users, new users, even count, average engagement time, users in last 30 minutes, users per minute, categorized by country, by users. Also, you can see the full reports, insights, users by country, user activity by cohort, conversions, item purchased by item name. You can also see different reports, for example, reports for real time. You can also see the life cycles of your web store, like overview of acquisitions, overview events, conversions of engagement, monetization, retention, and users attributes and tech. You can also explore and advertise. Alright guys, this is how you set up the Google Analytics for on the Shopify store. Guys, whether you run a small startup or a thriving enterprise, understanding your audience is key to success. And that's where Google Analytics comes in. It's a must-have tool that provides invaluable insights into your website's performance and user behavior. With Google Analytics, you can track crucial metrics like the number of visitors, the demographics, and even their journey through your website. It's like having a secret window into your customer's mind, allowing you to make data-driven decisions that boost conversions and drive revenue. Not only that, but Google Analytics helps you identify the most effective marketing channels so you can allocate your resources wisely. I hope you liked this video and learned something new. Don't forget to like and share the video and hit the subscribe button to see more videos like this. Until the next time, I wish you a lot of success with your business.